now that uh, we've mentioned how to install Python, what I had actually shown you was installing uh, what is called an implementation of Python on your system. An implementation is essentially a program or a software or an environment that allows you to actually work in Python. So what I showed you was how to install the by default or the most basic or reference implementation that has been created by the developers, which is actually called CPython. Uh, even though you would not, you would not have seen the word, the letter C or the prefix C. Uh, but yeah, that implementation that I had, I had downloaded myself and I had shown you to download, uh, is actually the CPython implementation, which is Python built on top of C, the the C language essentially. Uh, there are other implementations such as Iron Python, which uses the .NET framework, and JPython that uses Java virtual machines uh, that you could use. Uh, if you were interested but again these are things that i would not worry about too much right now so now that we have tackled on how to install your implementation of python i want to introduce what is called a distribution to you uh, this distribution is called anaconda anaconda is a very important distribution especially if you are looking to use python in data science and machine learning and ai which i am assuming is the motivation for many of the people that are actually watching this video that they actually want to move into data science and they need to learn Python as a foundation towards the moving towards data science. And if, if that is your goal or in any case, whatever your goal may be, I would recommend that uh, you install Anaconda distribution. Now, do not get confused between Anaconda and Python. Their Anaconda is Python with a, in the form of a bundle. And this bundle contains not only the basic uh, Python implementation that I had shown you to download, but it contains a lot of extra libraries and technologies and softwares as well. So, of course, this means that would you need to download both? Of course not. If you download a Python, you do not need Anaconda to work on Python. And if you have already downloaded Anaconda, uh, which I will show you how to do it in some time, uh, if you have already downloaded Anaconda, you don't need to download Python separately. So I'll just speak about Anaconda a little briefly. So as I said, it's a distribution. It it, it contains a bundle, uh, which includes the basic Python implementation and a lot of uh, technologies and softwares and applications that essentially help us to use Python in, in, in specifically managing da big data applications and uh, data science related projects. So, so now I will show you actually how to install Python, I mean Anaconda on your system. It's as simple, it was, it's actually as simple as downloading just the, this thing. So if I did a quick quick Google of Anaconda. So the website that I'm looking for is anaconda.com and I'm looking at products and I'm looking at individual edition. There are adi other editions as well, like commercial team edition. These are for uh, companies usually or uh, for more professional sort of projects. So of course we are looking at the individual edition and if you selected this page, you would be taken to uh, this particular web page where it will ask you uh, if you want to download and again there are options depending on which machine you are using if you are using a linux you would choose one of these two if you are using mac os you would use one of these two and since i am a windows user and i have a 64-bit system this is the option i would use so again it will it will first download an installer for you and as you can see my installer has been uh, downloaded so now upon opening it it will open up this installation thing you can you can just click next on most of these again if you want to specify your destination folder you can change it here mine will be with a default folder in the c drive and you can leave this unticked you can you can change these options much later so this is how you install anaconda on windows and it's pretty much the same on other systems as well now once it's done i will show you what exactly what are some of the things that anaconda contains that are not there if you uh, installed Python, like the way I had shown you earlier, just the bare bones Python implementation. So as you can see here, my installation is actually complete. And uh, now I will open Anaconda and I'll show you what, how you can actually use this Anaconda. So if I search for Anaconda in my system, I would look for something called Anaconda Navigator to actually get started with this. And when I open that, it should open something like this. So this is what opens when you click on the anaconda navigator and as you can see there are a bunch of applications you don't need to worry about what these mean uh, right now uh, just understand that this this is essentially a bundle of uh, different applications and technologies that come along with 
just the normal installation of Python that you get when you install Anaconda Navigator. Now, now that we have actually tackled where we've seen how to install and I'm hoping and I would recommend definitely that everyone is watching this video installs Anaconda and not just the uh, normal Python uh, installation or implementation. So yeah, I thank you for watching this video and I really hope to see you in the next video.